This $90,000 electric car broke down just eight months after it left the showroom. Not because of an accident or neglect, but because it was built to fail. Electric vehicles are supposed to be the future. Smooth, silent, reliable. But what if I told you some of the most hyped EVs on the road today may never even make it to 100,000 kilometers? Based on the latest data from consumer reports, including thousands of owner surveys, five EVs have been flagged as the least reliable on the market. And these aren't just minor glitches, we're talking about complete electronic failures, brutal software bugs, and costly breakdowns. Yet, people keep buying them. Today, we're exposing the truth. Let's start with a luxury EV that promised to change everything but instead delivered recall after recall. Number 5. Lucid Air It's sleek, it's silent, it costs over $70,000, but it might break before your toaster does. The Lucid Air was supposed to be the crown jewel of American EV innovation, outclassing Tesla, outstyling BMW, and outpacing everything on the road. But owners quickly discovered a very different reality. From the start, the electronics were a nightmare. Displays froze mid-drive, warning lights popped up with no explanation, and software updates often made things worse instead of better. One owner described it as a glitchy mess that sometimes wouldn't start at all. Things seemed to get worse when complaints started popping up on poor build quality. Panels misaligned, interior fittings rattled, and some cars even leaked water during a rainstorm. For a car starting at nearly $70,000, these were unacceptable flaws. Eventually, the numbers couldn't be ignored. Consumer reports collected feedback, reviewed repairs, and tested the car themselves. The verdict was brutal. Lucid Air had one of the lowest predicted reliability scores of any EV they'd evaluated. Despite multiple recalls and patches, Lucid has struggled to fix these issues. Early adopters are now left wondering, will their prized EV survive past 100,000 kilometers, or is it just a ticking time bomb? And if Lucid's flagship luxury EV can't get it right, what hope is there for others? Because the next EV in this video has issues that would leave you stunned. Number 4. Rivian R1S The Rivian R1S was supposed to be the rugged EV for the wild, a futuristic SUV that could handle mountain trails, muddy back roads, and everything in between. It looked the part, it sounded unstoppable, but under all that adventure-ready design were problems. Big ones. Buyers were promised reliability and innovation. What they got was something else entirely. Early owners reported sudden power loss, complete shutdowns mid-drive, and strange electronic glitches. Sometimes before the car even made it past its first oil-free road trip, some received their Rivians with interior panels loose or misaligned. Others noticed their infotainment system crashing, reversing cameras failing, or tailgates that wouldn't open on day one. Then came the service nightmare. Getting replacement parts took weeks. Some owners said it felt like Rivian was still learning how to fix their own vehicles. For a company that's trying to compete with Tesla and Ford, that's a brutal learning curve. Consumer reports didn't hold back. The R1S is now rated much less reliable than the average new car. A badge of shame for a vehicle designed to conquer the outdoors. Yet struggling just to leave the garage. And while Rivian's issues are frustrating, the next car in this video is even harder to excuse. Because when you buy a BMW, you expect precision. You expect quality. But in this case, you don't get any of that. Instead, you get a car that starts falling apart long before the warranty expires. Number 3. BMW iX The badge says BMW, the problems say beta test. When BMW rolled out the iX, it was marketed as the best of German EV engineering. Bold design, next-gen tech, and a six-figure price to back it up. This wasn't just any electric vehicle. It was supposed to be a rolling statement, the perfect blend of luxury and innovation. 
But that promise didn't last long once the IX actually hit the roads. Almost immediately, owners began reporting issues, and not just minor problems, serious recurring issues with the very systems that make this car high-tech. Glitchy electronics, frozen infotainment screens, randomly malfunctioning driver assist features. For many, the experience felt more like a tech demo than a finished product. One iX owner reported that their vehicle rebooted itself mid-drive, as in, the entire digital cockpit just blacked out and restarted while cruising on the highway. Others complained of drivetrain bugs that caused strange jerking motions or unpredictable torque delivery. And if you thought that sounded like a one-off, it wasn't. These issues kept popping up across forums, service centers, and review boards. Consumer reports took notice. After collecting enough owner feedback, they did something almost unheard of for a flagship BMW. They revoked their recommendation. The iX, once hailed as a high-end marvel, was now being flagged for poor reliability. Not just in software, but also in basic build quality. Panels didn't align, interior trim rattled, charging ports had inconsistent seals. It wasn't just a digital age that failed, it was the craftsmanship. And sure, BMW is issuing updates. They're smoothing over some of the software bugs, rolling out patches to fix the most common complaints. But for many owners, the damage is already done. Some say the iX never felt like a finished product. Others are quietly putting theirs up for sale after less than a year of ownership. Because here's the thing. When you're paying over $100,000 for a vehicle, you expect more than luxury. You expect trust. You expect engineering that works. The iX failed that test. And if even BMW, the icon of German precision, can't get it right, what does that say about the rest of the pack? Because while the iX's problems are mostly buried under software and flashy touchscreens, the next EV in this story has an issue that's far more familiar and far harder to ignore. Because with this one, it's not just the electronics. It's the bolts, the welds, the physical structure of the vehicle itself. Number 2. Audi Q8 e-tron You expect an Audi to deliver smooth, effortless luxury. The Q8 e-tron promises exactly that, a whisper-quiet ride wrapped in sleek design, packed with the latest tech and a badge that carries weight. But behind that quiet exterior, the complaints are anything but subtle. Owners started noticing the cracks early. Some owners began reporting a strange clicking sound when turning the wheel. Others noticed trim pieces rattling near the pillars. It didn't make sense for a new luxury EV to sound like it had survived five winters just under a few months of use. Then came the electronics malfunctions, touchscreens freezing mid-use, climate controls that refused to respond, and sensors that sent false alerts or went dark altogether. Software updates were meant to fix these issues, but often made things worse, causing lag unexpected shutdowns, or the dreaded check system warnings that left drivers uneasy and confused. Consumer reports saw the pattern and made a tough call. They dropped the recommendations for the Q8 e-tron, citing widespread reliability problems. The data was clear. This luxury EV was falling far short of expectations. It's a troubling trend. Audi's Q8 e-tron isn't the outlier. It's part of a growing list of premium EVs that looked apart but are failing just as hard and just as often as their less glamorous counterparts. But while the Q8 e-tron stumbled because it tried to blend old world luxury with new world tech, the last vehicle in this video ran into a different trap. One that nobody expected from a brand known for precision, efficiency, and bulletproof reliability. Number 1. Hyundai Ioniq 5 it won awards, it got rare reviews, it was hailed as a breakthrough in affordable, stylish electric vehicles. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 seemed like the perfect blend of value and innovation. But now, some owners are finding themselves stranded on the side of the road, waiting for a tow. The Ioniq 5's early popularity was undeniable. Its futuristic design and competitive price made it an instant hit. But beneath the surface, cracks began to show. Data collected from 2022 through 2024 reveals a troubling pattern. 
Owners report charging malfunctions that leave their vehicles unable to refuel efficiently. Infotainment systems that freeze or crash unexpectedly. Even more concerning, drivetrain issues that cause jerky acceleration or strange noises. What started as isolated complaints has become a chorus of frustration. Consistency, it seems, is not the Ionic 5 strong suit. Reliability problems that were rare at launch are now increasing, raising questions about the vehicle's long-term viability. Consumer reports flag the Ionic 5 as less reliable than the average new car. A surprising assessment for a brand that's been praised for building dependable vehicles in the past. And while Hyundai is working hard to improve, pushing out software updates and extending warranties, the reality for the current owners is that their cars aren't living up to expectations. So after all this, the big question remains. If these popular EVs aren't built to last, then what should you buy instead? The truth is that looks and specs can only take you so far. These five electric vehicles might catch your eye with futuristic designs and flashy features, but according to consumer reports and thousands of owner experiences, they won't reliably carry you past 100,000 kilometers without major headaches. If you're serious about buying an EV, don't gamble on hype alone. Stick with models that have proven track records and get consistent software updates and reliable support. Want more no-nonsense EV truths, insider tips, and the latest on electric cars that actually perform? Hit that subscribe button now. And if you've owned or are currently in possession of any of these EV disasters, drop a comment below. We want to hear your story. Before you go, if this video opened your eyes, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone thinking about buying an EV. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss our videos in the truth behind the tech. Got a story about one of these cars or any EV experience? Share it in the comments. We read every single one.